Hey everyone, I've been complaining about the problem of eye contact in video meetings forever, and we're finally starting to see some motion out there. There's currently three approaches, so I'm going to give you examples and the pros and cons of all three. There's AI, camera behind the monitor, and camera in front of the monitor. But first, just a minute on why it's so important. This is something that I've been complaining about for over 10 years. This is one of the first videos on the Let's Do Video YouTube channel from 10 years ago, and it's me ranting about the problem of eye contact and giving tips on how to deal with the problem of eye contact in video meetings. Everything I said there still applies. We, we all have seen the studies that there's reasons we do eye contact when we meet in person. It makes us more effective, more persuasive in business situations. Okay, so we know how crucial eye contact is. Let's get into our three approaches. The first is AI. You may have heard about some high profile projects like Google's Starline, which do more than, more than eye contact. It's like a 3D immersive effect. Now, this stuff is really cool, but it's a little bit of future wear. It's not available now. I don't know where it's going, but I could tell you it's not going to be on your desktop anytime soon. What is available right now are software options like NVIDIA's AI. This has been out for a few years now. I've demoed it on my live stream, uh, but I don't see a lot of people using it or talking about it. And I think it's just an unnatural effect when you're in a video meeting. It, the problem is it locks in your eyes. Let me show you, I can do the demo right now. Normally, if I'm looking around, if I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. And if I look around my screen, it looks like I'm looking around the room normally. With this, it locks it on. So here, let me show you, I turned it on. I, first of all, my eyes just changed. These aren't my eyes. And second of all, no matter where I look on the screen, it looks like I'm looking at you until I get, which is unnatural, until I get to the point where I'm looking off screen and then it, it flickers. So there's a lot of unnatural effect go, going on here. I think there might be a use for this if you're using a, a script for, for something like what I'm doing right here, which I probably should be doing, but I'm not, and you don't want to look like you're reading the script. This could be useful for that. But I just don't think it's good for video meetings. It's just too unnatural. So pros are it's free software. Cons are you need an NVIDIA graphics card and I don't like the way it looks. The second approach is camera behind the monitor. Now, unfortunately, that's still impossible. The closest we can come is putting the camera behind a one-way mirror. So the camera sees you through the one-way mirror and you see whatever is reflected in the mirror. This is the way a lot of teleprompter solutions work today. A few of these teleprompter solutions, in addition to reflecting a script, on the one-way mirror for you to read can actually function as a full monitor. You could put Zoom or Teams up there and see it as a monitor with the camera behind the one-way mirror. So pros and cons, pros, it, it does the trick. You're looking at the person in Zoom and you're making eye contact. Cons are it's, it's an expensive solution and you still need to buy a webcam. It's too heavy to put on top of your monitor. You have to put it on a separate stand off to the side. It's also big. It needs to be as deep as it is tall because of the angled mirror. So it takes up a lot of desk space. But perhaps most importantly, in terms of experience, it's much smaller than your main monitor. When I'm on Zoom with you, I want to see you big on my main monitor right in front of you. It's big enough for a good experience on one-to-one. -one, but as you get into bigger meetings with, with the gallery view, I'm starting to want to drag it off of the smaller monitor onto my main monitor. So that leaves our third approach, which is camera in front of the monitor. Now, full disclosure, I'm recording this video on one of these solutions, and it is the sponsor of this video, Eye Contact Camera. Now, I'm still gonna give you the full, you know you know me, I'm still gonna give you the full pros and cons. And let's start by just showing you what I'm looking at. So here it is, a little camera coming down from the, from the device, and those are the cons. When you're in a video meeting, you see this camera in front of your monitor. And you may be thinking the first thing I thought was, no, no, hold on. I can't have this here all day. I do video editing. I'm in spreadsheets. When you're not in a meeting, you just pop it up behind the privacy shutter. For me, this was, this was what got me excited about the device. This was what made it usable for me because the idea of something in front of the monitor all day just didn't work for me. Okay, so let's go over the pros and cons of this approach. The cons are obvious. There's the one compromise. During a one-on-one -on -one meeting, you can't see the device in front of the monitor. For me, it didn't take me that long to get used to it at all. The pros are, in a typical meeting with a gallery view, you can line it up in the gap so it's not really blocking anything. And of course, in between meetings, you can completely move it out of the way. Also, it's affordable, it's portable, but the big thing for me is I'm using my big main monitor. I'm not having to use another monitor to have eye contact, and I'm not having to use AI. As far as I know, this, the, the in front of the screen approach is the only way to use your own screen without using AI 
to get eye contact. So for 10 years, I've been talking about how important eye contact is. And for 10 years, I've been advising you to stare at webcams instead of looking at the people you're talking to on your monitors. Now, finally, we're starting to have some options. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.